So the new Need for Speed Unbound has some pretty interesting art direction and from seeing the trailer I especially like the way the main title animates in. Now I'll show you guys how to do it in After Effects. Um, okay, so I wanted to start out by saying that I don't uh, really play video games. Well, I, I mean, I don't play as much as I used to anyway, but you know, I still keep a close eye on them because I think their art styles and art direction sometimes greatly reflects uh, the sort of atmosphere of the time that they're released in. And I think you know, Need for Speed is doing a, the team behind Need for Speed is doing a good job trying to reflect the sort of uh, hip hop underground low-key scene going with a sort of a grungy glitchy art style that we see in a lot of uh, hip-hop uh, music videos nowadays i'm gonna start off by ex examining the logo animation a little bit so i think this is sort of how we're gonna tackle our own logo animation before uh, this video right i'm gonna start fresh uh create a new text layer uh, type in anything with a uh, three letter and I'm gonna go with my initials it's a horrible font and as you can see in the trailer they use a sort of typeface that was pretty flat and wide and uh, thick and I'm gonna go with something similar and I'm gonna change the color to white hit OK and align the uh, text to be in the middle of the composition uh, pretty good. And the next step that we're gonna do is separate each of these letters into their own layers. Now I know there's a, a plugin in After Effects that helps you blow out of these letters into their own individual layer. And right now I'm just gonna stick to the good old fashioned way of duplicating it three times. Uh, the color of the something else. Red. Very good. And then I'm just gonna hide these two layers uh, away for a little bit. For the first layer, I'm gonna reduce it to an H. I'm gonna line it up. And I'm gonna line it up to where the original H is. Uh, the second one is a V. Line it up to our original V. Do the same thing again. Line that up. And then we can go ahead and delete the original text layer that we had containing all three letters. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color it yellow again. Uh, the next step is, gonna, is that we're gonna create a new null object. I'm just gonna call this one control and color it something else, maybe yellow. And then I'm gonna tag all of these letters into that uh, control layer. So now we can actually move the letters around uniformly. Uh, and that's gonna come in handy when we try to animate all of these layers all at once, which is exactly what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do now. So let's go ahead and nail some keyframes down. I'm gonna keyframe. I like how I like the scale of all the letters, how it's looking right now. So I'm gonna keyframe that scale in the control knob. Uh, drag it up a few frames. Maybe it's just gonna have it end up at frame number five uh, at the start. Drag it out to like 200, 200, two, oh, 2 to 2 percent. That's pretty good. And then at a few frames forward, maybe about 20 frames. Keyframes the scale of it right now. Right at the next frame, drag it down to like 90 percent. Or you can go a little bit more extreme and have it up to 85 uh, percent. And then a few frames later, uh, have it ended up at 100 uh, percent again. Now, you know, the, uh, the position of these keyframes are just relative as well that we're building the animation based on these keyframes and, you know, these keyframes can be changed. Let's just deal with how these keyframes are moving between each other. Just gonna highlight the second keyframe over here, press F9, jump into the speed graph and then drag the speed all the way to the left drag this handle over here all the way to the left so that when the letters comes in it's gonna come in smoothly like this Boom. and then also when it's uh, relaxing back into its final scale it's also gonna be gonna be scaling up smoothly as well so highlight the I'll highlight the last keyframe also press F9 and in the speed graph gonna drag it all the way in as well nice so now we have a basis of the sequence right now it's gonna come in 
pop down a little bit with the pop down actions get it getting a little, a little bit too extreme you can drag that up to 90 percent right here next is that we're gonna displace this to uh, these two letters over here we can do that by you know changing the position property of the layer itself or we can drop down the the menu of the text layer and then head over to animate over here and put in position and this is going to animate the position of the text layer uh, within the text itself and yeah it just gives a uh, just gives us uh, another layer of flexibility so we're going to keyframe the position over here uh, as the final position of the layer uh, drag it down to maybe four frames and then for this position over here we're going to push it to somewhere else maybe down here we're gonna do the same thing with the H drop it down animate position and for this position keyframe the final position over here take it to frame number four and then change the position of the H as well maybe take it to the opposite side uh, of the U. I'm gonna hit U to bring up the both of the keyframes of the H and the U and then highlight all of them and press F9 to either ease, drag it down to the left side to make sure the H and U eases into position. Maybe can, can, we can get rid of the easing at the beginning as well. Pretty cool and now we have uh, we have an animation of the U, the H and the U coming into place and then we can move on to our centerpiece which is the V fluctuating between three or maybe four different fonts I kind of want to start that animation somewhere over here exactly as soon as it drops down in size so I'm gonna head over to that keyframe select the layer V Control shift D to cut it out at the at the moment of the timeline. Um, it's gonna fluctuate between through three fonts. Like I'm gonna give uh, each font a uh, runtime of about three frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and count. One, two, three, control shift D, one, two, three, control shift D, and one, two, three, control shift oh look at that we got a keyframe at exactly the moment where it ends right so i'm gonna select these three uh v over here drag them to the top of the h and color of them yellow like the like the sort of yellow in the trailer now for the front part i'm gonna select each of them and switch them to a sort of more chaotic hip-hop style font I can't look through the screen right now, but I'm willing to guess that you're probably spending most of your time in this part of the process just trying to find the right font. Scale it up a little. It would, it would be fun if it's actually touching the H and the U. And finally, if you can see in the, the main animation sequence, at the end of this transformation over here, it's actually leaving like a three second gap between the animation sequence and the original V. So I'm gonna drag this, I'm gonna take this original layer of the original V, grabbing the end of it and then drag it to the right by three frames. Momentarily, we're gonna lose the V over here and it's gonna look way more chaotic. Let's play it back again. There we go. That's looking very cool. Uh, the final piece of the puzzle is probably just trying to implement things that you know, fits the aesthetic as, as a whole. So right now I'm gonna create a new solid, call it the background layer, and drop it to the bottom. I'm gonna color it something else, maybe a blue. Then what we can do is add in a, an adjustment layer. So we go ahead and click on new adjustment layer. Then what we're gonna do is extract sort of a, a two frame moment from this adjustment layer. Maybe three frames, three step. Add in an invert effect. So what's gonna do is gonna flip the channels uh, between black and white. So momentarily we have sort of a, a pop and value uh, for us to capture the attention of the viewer. Yeah, I think it's time to wrap up. I hope you can you guys enjoyed today's uh, Need for Speed inspired video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See ya.